Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Against the Year. This is gonna be the final video in this series on creating an auto-generated vocabulary from a given uh, current text as an input. So, here is what we've done so far. So, uh, I just commented out this part to tokenize the text because it's just a little bit laggy. But anyway, so first we just do take a text input uh, from the text file, then we do tokenize it. By the way, here is how the tokenized form looks like. So we do associate a part, a part of speech type with the word itself. And then we use some web scraping techniques to obtain the translation for a current given word along with uh, conjugation details. I mean, like uh, for verbs like the present, past and uh, uh, future forms. And the scope of this video is to take the uh, data input in a format of uh, like uh, Python dictionary, right? And we'll need to generate, to auto-generate the HTML document uh, uh, rendering this sort of a uh, jQuery data tables plugin powered table, just an HTML table that would be having all the words from a current given sentence. Well, here, here, this example in particular is something that I've been doing manually. So it's, it's, it's how the output, uh, it's how the end result of what we're supposed to be doing in this video will look like. However, this current is, uh, this current page is not that result. It's just, uh, I've been, I'm practicing Korean, I'm learning Korean. So uh, I've been uh, typing these words by hands, uh, but this doesn't really seem to make that big sense as I was expected. So I decided to go for a bit of a auto-generated gener stuff. Another note to consider that uh, one of my uh, videos where I took the uh, data from the CSV file as an input, as a source data, and then generated the responsive HTML table like this one, but uh, in the format of the Python Flask web application, uh, it seems quite pretty popular, one of the most popular videos on this channel, to, to, which is quite pretty surprising. So, in this video we're going to be doing something very similar, but even easier. So, we're not going to be involving, involving any uh, uh, server uh, being established uh, on the back end, and this would be just the pure static HTML file being generated as an output, that which can later on can be hosted on GitHub and hopefully live forever. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the tool that we're supposed to be using for this kind of purpose. So we're supposed to be using, uh, so yeah, here is the code from my tutorial, which I would be uh, making use of as well. Uh, we're gonna be using the Jinja, Jinja 2 template renderer. So if you don't have it installed, just uh, just go for it. But I already have Flask installed in my operating system. That's and the Jinja is the dependency of Flask, so I have that installed. Anyway, if you want to install that sort of a thing, here is the here is the way of how you, one can achieve that. So just open the terminal. I mean, I'm opening the terminal in the current working directory, and I need simply to say sudo because I'm on Linux, I'm on Linux on Windows. You don't need that. Then pip and if you have the only Python installed, this is enough, but I have multiple Pythons, so I say 3.6 to install the dependency for Python 3.6. Uh, install, and what's the name for package? Jinja from the from the uppercase. Uh, Jinja2. And I already have this installed. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, just... Uh, I have that installed. I have no idea what's going on around here. Let me just copy this and try again. Yeah, just was some sort of a typo. So here I have the requirement already satisfied again, because as I as I've been explaining before, because I already have Python Flask being installed. But we're not going for that sort of a. Uh, web server stuff, so just using the bare template on its own. And we don't actually need this sort of a thing. And uh, I found a, a fantastic gist by W rank. And here is uh, the embedded version. So uh, we could have used the external fi file for to render the template, but I really want to have the self-contained uh, self stuff. So I don't really want to go for those kind of like 
uh, complications. I want to, uh, I want, I want the single file to uh, make all the job uh, because it's not a web project or something. So here is the code that we'll need to generate this HTML template. So uh, let's import the dependency first and just go to my source code and probably here down below the beautiful soup I can import this ginger stuff. Okay, and then to go for a template. So yeah, by the way, yeah, by the way, so here I'll probably, probably, yeah, I can just look over tokens. So I just, I just want to add some sections to, to the code. Okay. Or maybe even I can just simply say like, yeah, probably I can say the HTML output HTML HTML file template and I just create this HTML and okay so we'll probably first go playing around with the template renderer on its own so for now I just comment out all the code I have okay and then we'll go back to that so well let, let's actually try with this current that we have in the example just to give you an idea of how it works so let me just play this stuff in and like this so save and then going for so here is how so let's actually say so here we want to create uh, HTML uh, let's say render yeah render render HTML template so so this this one let's call this one a template template HTML template and this one let's call it HTML output okay save and this is the title so we, we're using the variable here that we're passing so this is the variable uh, I'm gonna be passing I know one or two variables so uh, the the must-have variable uh, is the data itself, so we would, we would be using uh, uh, some, some loops within this HTML tem template to render the table for to, to, to later on be, be rendered by jQuery by jQuery data tables plugin. But first, let's just try some simple stuff. So we do embed the variable into HTML file. So let's print our HTML output to have a look if it works okay and now I need to say Python 3 vocabulary dot pi HTML is not defined and yes I need HTML template here and here it is so as you can see here so the canon of the variable was embedded just like we need this okay so i hope this is perfectly perfectly clear regarding this stuff and we'll leave this stuff just uh for a while so for a while we just leave this and the next thing uh that i wanna wanna do uh, well first i want to demonstrate you what the code i've written so far actually does and how it works and then for the purposes of uh providing the proper layout for our uh, for our table I'll uh, go for slight uh, changes uh, in regards to the format of the data of the initial data set that we have that we would be generating the HTML table from so let's have a look what we have so here uh, we do uh, HTTP request to get the translation for a current given word and for those words that can be conjugated we, we we're getting the past future forms uh, past uh, present past and 
future forms. But I actually want this to be uh, in a little bit different format. So here you see like we have a nested data, but I want this data to be plain. So um, this is the way of how we will go. Uh, by the way, yeah, we, we actually don't, so this, well, this is just a matter of uh, printing the debugging information. Uh, however, so this translated text, I, I guess this translated text, uh, so I can see like, um, uh, Okay, let's actually first try to print like JSON dumps and vocabulary. It takes a little bit of a time, but it works it. And indentation equals to two spaces. Yes, this won't now print the Korean characters, but oh, it does does it every time. It's not really that what I what I meant to be, what I meant it to be. Yeah, okay, at least here is the, the, the very last version, I believe. So word word type and translation, translation. So do I have the conjugations? Oh, I don't even have the conjugations yet being embedded. Okay, this is even better. So let's actually add them in this case. Yeah, I thought I just thought that in the previous video in this tutorial series I didn't embed this, but I, but it, it turned out that I didn't. So conjugation details is the type of list, right? Which has present, so zero present, one past, two future. So let's go for present, present tense. Uh, let's form or tense is okay. Present tense and let's just leave this empty for a while. Okay, copy, paste, paste, and here it would be the past, and here it would be the future tense. Okay, and now I won't make this like try accept statement uh, because not all the elements would be having. Uh, not el not all the elements would be having this. Uh, uh, present, past, and future tense because this only regards to verbs and adverbs. So uh, we need to try the following then. So vocabulary append. So probably we are referencing vocabulary at the very last element in this case, right? And uh, then this present tense copy present tense is equal to conjugation details and zero and now copy paste paste now the same for for past tense and for the future tense so here would be the index of one and the index of two and I want to print this just once. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, present tense, what's wrong? Mm. Mm. Okay. So now I hope to see the plain data set. So these guys, like present, past, future, would it be like the column names. Okay, so we have, let's, let's try this. So yeah, present, past, future. Well, uh, because of because of this JSON dumps uh, Unicode character is being presented in this way, I can actually check that so make sure that that's written properly. So let's just write. Let's just do the pure print the pure vocabulary to see the actual Unicode characters and the structure seems to be fine. So for those that don't. Hold on a sec, why does it, no, it's not for all. So here, present, past, future is not available. Noun, 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 okay, verb, gets called. So yeah, let's just, uh, well, the matter of uh, checking the data itself is also a very important thing because I'm doing this uh, for my own use. But again, like just to keep focusing on the technical part, uh, it doesn't matter that much really. 
uh, from the technical perspective. So word type now translation. So no present tense, no past. Okay, word. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, where, where is the boda? Boda. Okay. To see. Boyo. Boss. Ba. Uh. Okay. So it seems like okay. Okay. It seems like it is okay. And actually, in this case, we don't even need this uh, past, future, and, and, yeah, so we don't need to specify this. So I can think, uh, I think that we can say dot split like this and have the very last element. So let's have a look should just give the pure forms because we already have the past present and future tenses being described okay so present okay 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 it seems like it seems like now it's kind of fine okay so from now on we can actually uh, dare to go for an actual template okay so now it's time to reference the project that i already been doing so far so flask oh my god no 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 flask tutorials mm, csv here so i need to go to templates taking this home html and i just grab all this stuff okay well obviously the layout would be different and yeah really some things would be different so it, it won't be called proxies so let's search for it and let's rename this to vocabulary and i want to replace all okay Let's save. Okay, so what we have, so all this uh, CDNs for jQuery bootstrap and data table is just fine. The card layout, this is all fine. Uh, we don't need to, so we don't have any requests here. And if, so this should be done always. Okay, oops, sorry just sorry just uh, a, a bit unhandy bit switching the indentation all of the time but just like the least evil here okay I believe it would actually render we just need to provide okay so the cost so for heaters for heaters for heater in results keys okay results keys so results can i keep this name as results i think i can okay and one more little thing so i just just want to see what kind of data am i passing there so render template results field names why do i I probably didn't even use the field names, did I? Field names. Whoa. Table body. Okay, I did use the field names. Well, probably we can stick to that as well. So. What else to consider? So, for reader, for our and reader. Oh, so it's just, did I use the dictionary reader? Yeah, dictionary reader, right. Mm. Yeah, probably it's done just to make this a little bit more like, completely dynamic. Okay, guys, just, I'm um, sorry, just thinking a little bit, what's the better way? Of doing this so mm, 
So we need the results and the field names and the results are, yeah, is the list of dictionaries. So we do append the dictionary, okay. Okay, so results should be, uh, so this is it. And length is just the Python function of length. So I hope that this should work. I didn't, I didn't yet test this, so we'll know if this is really kind of so. So when I call, when I call, um, so here, uh, results, field names, and the length, okay. And what else? So results would be our vocabulary, because this is the list of dictionary, dictionaries, vocabulary, and field names would be uh, just call it like field, like call for call in uh, vocabulary zero dot keys. So I really hope this is going to be working. So can I make it a little bit more prettified like this? Okay, HTML output. And actually, let's try to write uh, the HTML file eventually. So with open... Yeah, by the way, I don't even need the CSV folder, right? Because, yeah, no need, no actual need to, to go for it. However, we still can uh, optionally add the CSV uh, version of the output as well. So, yeah, I think we can go for that as well. Uh, so, with open, and let's go to... Hold on a sec. Like this, right? HTML and let's call it vocabulary.html and i want to write the file to the file stream as file and yeah, this indentation in a way a little bit so what do we want to so this should be a string. So we can simply say f dot write and HTML output, and this should be enough in theory. So now I, I hope that here uh, an HTML file would appear when I run the script one more time. So okay, we go for translation. Okay. Uh, yeah, for debugging purposes, probably. Oh man, you roll for it. Tricking, tricking me. URL four is undefined. Yeah, it's within the template. Where is the URL four? Oh man, I just don't need the five icon, right? Okay. Yeah, for debugging purposes, it's better to have. Uh, this kind of dictionary yeah I think yeah guys it just let's go for this because it would be some extensive debugging here so even though, even though we have this already but I guess just having the dictionary so just to avoid all this uh, request stuff uh, every time we run it so okay uh, HTML vocabulary let's have a look at the our output file Oh my god, this is so cool. So this is actually it turned out to be even simpler than I thought, believe it or not. Okay, so let's have a look. So we have okay uh we have this words, we have the type, translation. Uh so translation might be used as English apparently. Uh but yeah, translation is just fine. So present tense for those having this da. Okay. Why oh. But hold on a sec. 
Oh, it's not Boda, it's Boda. Mm. Well, this this is a little bit strange. So yeah, I, I really need to check this from the content perspective. Boyo, Bosoyo, Borgoyo. Okay. So this already looks like something I wanted to have. Uh, but yeah, also I don't need this sort of a thing. Instead, I want to have the actual input and the translation of the entire sentence, which should be added as well. So yeah, let's go for it. So first, uh, first of all, let's just, well, I'm really impressed by the fact that the previous code I've written actually results uh, in all this dynamic uh, table rendering without any issues. This is very pleasant, really. Okay, so I don't need to lose, to waste time on that stuff. Okay, so now let's go for... Mm, just let's go edit in the template a little bit. So form, we don't need this form, text area and button. So we don't need this. Uh, by the way, why the table is... Okay, one div, one, two, three divs. Ah, this one div. Okay, so I just need to get rid of the form, right? This is it. Okay, and here... Mm, so here... Just okay, let me reference this HTML source to see how I did it. To, just to see how I did it. So, okay. So, this is the card header, okay? Yeah, so I just grabbed this card header here, copy and well as far as this is the card heater it should be placed here right and yeah card heater text so here instead of the text uh we won't have the line breaks but okay so Let's say, let's say Korean text. Okay, that's the variable name. And here we will have, uh, here we will have full translation okay so I will need to add a bit of um, actually this BR doesn't make sense now really mm, now we need to provide this uh, Korean text and full uh, and full translation variables. So for Korean text, it should be available. Within this text, I believe. So well, anyway, uh, let's try to yeah, and probably, probably I need to replace the new lines with a BR. That's another thing. So let's just make it. Let's just make it Korean text equals to like this. Okay, and. Well, let's just say, or, okay, uh, for now, for now, let me just add this manually, right? 
let me just add this manually for now however okay let's just we don't we won't have this in translation anyway so I'm just not taking the, the initial input because it's, it's very laggy there so we have the Korean text the tokenized text that forms the data set so this Korean text is going here so uh, just actually Korean text so this is the name of the uh, Jinja variable and this is the variable that is re that is referenced and also the translation uh, so here we have this um, full translation and now we need to extract the full translation so let's say well uh, we can actually do it like so just uh, I'm just looking for the translation code so request nope uh, yeah Jason so th this is this is all we need for to get the full translation okay and well actually feels like it's time to to make a separate function for this stuff I don't really want to go for that refactoring thing mm. Or if we if we just add one more yeah we can just add this in this entire sentence yeah let's go for a bit of a hack here guys uh, I would be changing this all a bit later but for now I just just don't really want to write some unnecessary code and I, I really want to try to keep it as simple as possible so I just manually add the full sentence it will still bring the same thing well however it would result in uh, so I'll, I'll pro it, it would be doing some extra renderings in the table which I want to avoid but we can do that within the template itself so let's try to so here uh, I will then manually add this here but for now let's just say copy and here let's just say full sentence uh, so now it should get the translation and this would be tokenized text we can still reference it right so tokenized te no 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 it's just won't be tokenized text no it is tokenized text even if, even if we make it like this uh, yeah because I'll add that manually so copy uh, so here we use full translation would it be tokenized text the last element and the second element like this yeah let's try so in theory this should print uh, the sentence uh, then the translation and then and then it should print the table so let's update uh, yeah, it also probably nope yeah for some reason it also adds the full sentence yeah uh, uh, the full sentence yeah we just probably want to avoid that okay full sentence so it prints the sentence here uh, but not here why this happens so translation copy 
simple translation. Hmm. Full sentence. Is this kind of wrong? Uh, sorry, there's a bit of a delay here. Well, okay, so the first thing... Uh, so keys are fine for results. So from zero and not use the very last one and this should get rid of this part. But where this full sentence comes from, really, full, full sentence. So why he uses this? Oh, that's because, hold on a sec, but why doesn't give a translation? Oh, so the translation Oh, it's just not available here, so I need to use the vocabulary instead. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, so I need to use, uh, no, not tokenized text. I need to use the vocabulary, the last element, and the translation, or how they called translation. Okay, like this. So, yeah, let's try again. I also don't want to print this stuff. Yeah, by the way, yeah, by the way, it does. Okay, so I don't want to print anything. Or, hold on a sec, just. I don't really need to go through for conjugations. Okay, so let's update. Okay, we got the sentence, uh, we got the translation, and we no longer hopefully have Hopefully, we no longer have the sentence being in the table. So, yeah, it seems just pretty fine. Uh, uh, let's also change this to... Hold on a sec. Code like a screen vocabulary. So, let's go call, call it to... Uh, auto generated vocabulary from the text below. Save. Yeah, it seems like it's okay. Okay, one more little, uh, then, so for conjugation stuff, we don't actually need to, well, this is not essential, but uh, let's say and token one is not equal to full sentence. Okay, and yeah, let's try this one more time. And then we'll connect the tokenizer as well, finally. Take a bit of a time, it'll be slightly laggy, but at very least it should be working in theory. Okay, uh, so full tense. Yeah, now it doesn't take the full sentence as well. 
So let's have a look. Auto generate a vocabulary from text below. Uh, does it look fine? Nerin on the Chojis to Sunga, sir. Tatitaki by other cockatile. Okay, so. Mm, is this just fine? Yeah, I think. I think this is the case. Oh my god, do I really have this tool now? It should be so helpful in lear learning Korean. Okay. I'm just thinking. So maybe I just call it auto generated vocabulary here. I'll say the input text and then the translation. Yeah, probably that's just. Just want to prettify this slide a little bit. Okay, so let's say auto generated vocabulary. Auto generated vocabulary. Oops. Like this. And here I want to say. It's going to be centralized. I think it should be. So. Let's make it strong and let's say original text, original Korean text and BR and here strong, strong. English translation. Okay, English translation and the BR save. Okay, mm. I should do the trick. Okay, so we'll leave this for now. Okay, guys, so now let's do the final thing. So let's connect the tokenizer. And so first I need to tokenize text. I need to append this to tokenize text. So so let's call this Korean text. Let's call this because this is used down below. Korean text and here we want to append full sentence uh, to tokenized uh, to tokenized to the list of tokens to the list of tokens save and I just can say tokenize text dot append and this this is what I want to append but obviously not this actual text but Kore whatever Korean text we have okay Korean text Okay, so the output should be exactly the same now. If not, that means that I've done something horribly wrong. And if it if it does kind of work, then we can get rid of this part. So hold my breath and yeah, also I don't need this. Okay, just get rid of this later on. So it's like it takes time for to tokenize it. So just where pretty heavy libraries use this co NLPy. So the text is being now tokenized, even though it's not really that big text. But yeah, and now yeah. By the way, I need to add some uh, debugging information as well. Okay, so let's have an update. So auto generated vocabulary, original Korean text. Good English translation to normal. I think 
we're going to have to dress warm. Okay, just brilliant. Uh, hold on a sec. What is this? Why don't we have the word for mm. Do I have the nail and onil? Okay, nail tomorrow. Oh, it's just a matter of hold on a sec, yeah, it's just a matter of Okay, so the order oh my god. Yeah, I'm slightly confused regarding the order, to be honest. Yeah, it does have all the words, but not not in order. So nail, poda. So where is today? Yeah, nail. Yeah, it's just not in order. What is this? Also, uh, yeah. Sorry, e, e so what is this? Where this comes from? But why doesn't have a translation? So yeah, needs to be checked that out as well. But okay, guys, I think that uh, the rest of work is just mm, it's not really technical. It just needed to figure out like maybe I just missed something or or, or what. So yeah, uh, I mean like the core just behind, uh, like the, the core idea that I actually wanted to implement is currently kind of working. Uh, so now we do read from this text. So, okay, we also need to, I'll just make another video where I would be kind of making use of this library already, like in kind of like in production, if you can say so. So let's here also just add print debug info. Let's say it like, yeah. So print, so let's say creating tokenizer instance. Because it just takes time. Let's go for. Let's go for. Here. Let's just say tokenizing text. Green text. So just to give user an idea that something is happening actually. And I guess we can need to say like, and like this, and here, just print done. And let's also have some Okay, guys, I just paused the video for a while to get another Korean text input. Okay, so here is the long Korean sentence from Talk to Me in Korean, and let's try this one. So, this is Dave. Oh, He's sorry. trying to learn a language. I'm sorry, I don't want to lose my monetization because of that. Okay, so uh, let's go for this and save. So this is just an input. I don't know. Probably, uh, probably I can even get rid of this and file input. Maybe try to take it from command line. Well, maybe this is the case as well. Yeah, probably the file is just a bit better way of doing things. Okay, so let's try try it now. So now it should generate a different uh, kind of table because the phrase is different so it's not print the vocabulary any longer and if it now works I think that we're done with this sort of a tutorial and again like, only the fine-tuning would uh, would be the only thing left in order to 
complete this kind of project and already in the next video I'll probably just show how am I using this to go for this translation stuff well tokenizer was quite pretty fast this time it's interesting well maybe the text format is just easier maybe that's the case but anyway it goes through all of the words which is really good So it really takes time for kind of big amounts of text, but I think it's worth it really. Translating and yeah, finally translates the entire phrase. Yeah, type full sentence. And this is really cool. So let's have a look if it kind of works. So now it should be different sentence. Okay, original current text, English translation, punctuation, punctuation, Josa, Josa. Josa. Noun. Well, at least visually, it seems to be more or less just kind of fine. So this is kind of it, guys. Uh, what we actually did manage to do in this kind of tutorial series is we we are now able to take whatever Korean text, no matter how long, as an input, get the full translation for it, and then break it down into words get the type of every uh, get the part of speech type for every single word uh get the verb the can the conjugated verb forms in informal high like with this yo ending for those that uh, for, for those words and types of speech where the conjugation rules are applied like verbs and adverbs uh also known as descriptive uh, and probably some adjectives as descriptive words I'm, I'm i'm not sure at the moment can say for sure and yeah we actually do generate this kind of uh vocabulary dynamically well i don't know how about you guys but uh but me personally i feel like absolutely satisfied with this project because i'm really finally uh i will be able to start using this to improve my uh korean learning practice so now I can just take a bunch of text and I'm requiring lots of Korean content lately, recently, and I can just uh, bulk, bulk import this text and then just see the translation and then just work out the vocabulary to see like all this uh, grammar breakdowns, like this tokenization, like parts of speech, uh, conjugations and all this stuff. So I think this is really kind of awesome experience those learning languages and i really think that this sort of a technique might be applied to learning some different languages as well well obviously the use tools would be slightly different but the core idea is the same so this is it from my side guys thanks for watching until the next time and take care